Andy Goss is the head of all sales for Jaguar Land Rover, and you've got a lot going on at this Detroit show. You've got a couple of vehicles here that have not yet hit the showrooms. Let's start out talking on the Land Rover side of things. Well, you know, Land Rover has had a fantastic year in 2014. Uh, a global record for us, actually, in the, of a Jaguar Land Rover, the fifth consecutive year of a sales record. So the, the brands are in ever so well, up 9% last year. You're right, this is the new Discovery Sport that gets launched uh, in the United States uh, this springtime. Um, it goes into the small SUV segment. Um, so we've got this vehicle now and the Range Rover Evoque at the same time. So we think with, that, with those two cars in the marketplace, we should do ever so well. Um, it's a vehicle that we build in our Halewood plant in Liverpool. We've got an incredible ambition for the car. It's a 5 plus 2 configuration, so you can get seven people in this particular car. And like all SUVs, they're really made for the United States. That's there right. Is. Well, yeah, primarily U.S., but there's a global market for these vehicles uh, as well. Absolutely. You know, we expect it to be a substantial seller, but we know just how important SUVs are in the U.S., and that's why, you know, it's great to have the car here now. And it's uh, we're on sale now, only a couple of months away. Okay, let's talk about the other one that's not yet on sale, at least right. not in the U.S. market, the new XE. Well, again, the, the, the Jaguar SE, uh, XE, that's, uh, this vehicle uh, is launched in most of the globe during 2015. In the States in 2016, we've got launches for the summer up period onwards. Uh, it's a sporting sedan. It competes very much against 3 Series, uh, Audi A4 uh, and the Mercedes c -Test. So right in the, the volume segment of the luxury segment. Absolutely. It's all aluminum technology, so it's a very lightweight car, performance vehicle at the same time. We'll have a whole range of engines, 2 litre through to V6. Uh, and and you're now starting to make your own engines, not just purchase them. We invested half a billion sterling last year in our own engine plant, and, and the, the two new engines, the, the diesel and the petrol, will both go in this car when it comes to the United States. So, so that's a big step for Jaguar, offering a diesel in the U.S. market. Yeah, every single product that we have in the U.S., apart from the F-Type Coupe and F-Type Convertible, will have diesel as well as petrol. Um, and this vehicle will be all-wheel drive as well as rear-wheel drive when it comes out in the States. So, so we expect to give the German brands a run for their money, really. <laughs> That'll be a tough thing to do, but yeah. it's something that certainly the Jaguar brand has got to get doing. Jaguar brand is a performance brand, you know, and, and people expect performance out of the car. And it's a, it's a beautiful design car, and I say, it's lightweight aluminum technology as well. So we've got high hopes. I've got to believe it. You know, Jaguar did okay in the U.S. market, but the market grew faster than the brand did. Will this be the car that turns it around for Jaguar? This will be one of them. We've got the Jaguar XC, but also we're going to bring the F-Pace to the United States, which is a, a performance crossover. Uh, and we've got very high hopes for that car because that's such a huge market segment in the United States. 330,000 vehicles of that type we sold in 2015. Now, in the not-too-distant past, people would have said, well, Jaguar doesn't need to do a crossover. They've got Land Rover to do that. Explain the theory or the thinking behind doing your own crossover. Well, you know, Land Rover is all-terrain vehicle, very much focused on off-road. Jaguar is performance on-road vehicles, so we have the advantage of that technology from Land Rover, but we're going to dial it towards on-road rather than off-road. So I think we get the best of both worlds in many ways. Very good. Andy Goss, thanks so much for this quick update on where the JLR brand stands. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Good, good. John and Horace Dodge launched their first car in 1914. But they were not only business partners, they were brothers. Competitive, stubborn, and always pushing each other the way only brothers can. One hundred years later, their spirit lives on. Auto Line on the Road from the North American International Auto Show in Detroit is brought to you by St. Gobain, leadership in glass for 350 years.